Hey everyone and welcome to the tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to extend the backdrop using the content aware fill feature and also get rid of some of the wrinkles in the backdrop using the spot healing brush. As you can see in this picture, the background is actually visible and there's actually a little part of the light the light box that is visible in the left hand upper side. So what we're going to do is get rid of all of that, including the carpet, the background, and the light camera light box. And we're going to make it the backdrop extend to the outer frame of the picture. Okay, what we're going to do first is select the lasso tool. It looks like a circle almost. So select the lasso tool. And the first thing I think I'm going to tackle is the light box on the upper left hand side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a selection around the light box, as getting as close to it as I can. Just like that, and then make sure to connect it by going outside of the picture. And that makes a selection, and as you can see by the marching ants is what it's called, the selection has been made. Now to get rid of the selection, you can press Command D, and that gets rid of the selection, or Control D if you're on a Windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the selection again right around it, making sure to connect it. And then what I'm going to do is actually two ways to do this. You can go up to edit and then fill, or you can right click and press fill. Now for the first time, I'm going to go up to edit and press fill, and then make sure that all of these values are the same as on my, as on my screen. And then make sure that the content aware is checked on the drop down menu and then press OK. And then what it's going to do is going to calculate all the pixels around it and it's going to try to match it up as best as it can to the background that it's on. And as you can see, most of it or actually all of it is gone. And there you go. So the next area I'm going to tackle is this bottom corner or this bottom half right here. And make sure to make your selection around it, getting as close as you can to the actual um, part that you want to have edited out. Then make sure to connect it by going outside of the picture. And there you go. Now this time I'm going to right click and press fill. And again, make sure that all of the same options are selected. Make sure the content aware is selected and press OK. Now the bigger that your space is, the longer that the fill is going to take. There, because you can see it does it. Yeah, it does a pretty good job of extending that backdrop. And I can even zoom in and I can see it even creates these little wrinkles, for, which is actually really cool. It makes it more realistic. Now, the next side I think I'm going to do is this background. You can see the actual background that's behind the backdrop. And again, I'm just going to make a selection going all the way as close as I can to the space that I want to have edited out. And I'm actually going to make a larger selection this time just so you can see what it's going to do. There we go. Right click, fill, content aware, all the options, and then OK. Now this photo is going to take a little bit longer, but it shouldn't take too long. Now sometimes when it's a fill this big, sometimes the selection, you'll have these really weird kind of gaps in the selection or kind of gaps in the space where you want edited, but it's okay. This actually came out pretty good. Make sure you always go back and just check on the selection. And there we go. Another trick that I like to use is using a spot healing brush to get rid of wrinkles in the backdrop. The spot healing brush is it right here. It kind of looks like a band-aid with a little circle selection underneath it. And what you want to do is you want to make the brush just as big as the wrinkle, just a little bit bigger. And just start clicking and dragging over the wrinkles. And make sure that the same options are selected. And go ahead and just keep clicking and dragging over anywhere that you see wrinkles. And that gets rid of most, if not all, of the actual wrinkles. Now I'm not going to touch the wrinkles near the bottom of the picture just because it kind of comes out weird when I do it. So we're just going to leave those alone and the longer you take at this the better it will actually be. So 
So this one right here. And I'm just gonna speed through the rest of this process. And this is the final product. So thank you for watching my tutorial on how to use the content aware flow feature to fill in and also extend the backdrop in your pictures. And also how to use the spot healing brush to remove wrinkles within the backdrop. And my name is Haru and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.